Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium, here to give you an hour's worth of entertainment. Here we go again. So on today's show, just like every show, I will be answering questions from the call line. If you'd like to call in and you are watching live, um, 845-277-9131. Or on YouTube in the chat. So if you'd like to call into, or not call into the chat, if you'd like to ask questions um, on the chat, go right ahead, put that question in the chat, and I will be happy to answer it. Uh, okay, so first and foremost, please don't ever get scammed. I will never reach out to anybody and tell them you need a reading or anything else. So if somebody does that, it's not me. Please don't get scammed. Second, um, I can't remember what's it. Yes, I do private sessions, T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O. I can't think of of what else I would normally say in the beginning. If you call in and you have a question, uh, please have one exact question available and um, we will do our best to answer it or have a, a name of a loved one, name and relationship of a loved one. Uh, yes. And if you're asking online, same thing. I want to say hey to everybody on YouTube. Okay, I go live every single Monday at noon and every Wednesday at, at 7 p.m. You can join either show live every single week. Uh, Karma Karen, good morning. Hey, good morning, Karen. Uh, have I met my love or will I find him in 2024? Thanks. Karen wants to know, has she met her love? I hear yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Um, okay, Karen, if you recently met someone, this might not be the person, and I hear next. I just keep hearing next, next. Um, don't go too fast. Take your time. Hey, Elizabeth. Hey, Anne. Hi, Sal. Um Rebecca, Fawn, Heather, thank you all for being in the chat. And I am going to, in a moment, take a caller. But before we do that, I'm going to do the songs. And they have been coming at me all weekend. And I don't remember most of them because they come in and they go out. The first song is Fly Like an Eagle. I want to fly like an eagle. Um, and I, I'm hearing that verse that kind of echoes, but I can't hear the words to it. So whoever that's for the next song is sweet home, Alabama. <laughs> and then I know, I don't think sweet home, Alabama is by Tom Petty, but I'm hearing Tom Petty. And then I'm hearing, um, the song, uh, oh, Ring of Fire. I went down in a something ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flames got higher. And that wit ring of fire. Okay, and then the next thing I'm hearing is a man named Sue. And then the next thing I'm hearing is uh, the song. Late December, back in 63. Oh, gosh, my voice is cracking all over the place this morning. Um, <clears throat> okay, those are the songs I'm hearing so far today. I'm sure a lot more will come in. And then I'm going to go to names that I'm hearing. They could be names of loved ones. On the other side, it could be your name. Either way, it's somebody saying hello from heaven. If I get a message with it, I will give the message with it. Again, Giovanni is here. I don't think Giovanni ever leaves. That's all I want to say. I don't think Giovanni ever leaves. 
The next name that I'm hearing is Joseph. The next name I'm hearing is Peter. The next name I'm hearing is Michael. It's a lot of boys up in this joint this morning. Um, the next name I'm hearing is Alex and Alexander. The next name I'm hearing is George. Oh, Jesus. The next name, <laughs> there are a lot of boys up in here. There's all, so apparently so far, all the guys have taken over this space. The next name I'm hearing is um, John or Johnny, Greg, Peter. Again, Michael's coming through again. Oh. The next name I'm hearing is um, Michelle. The next name I'm hearing is uh, Lola. Lola. The next name I'm hearing, I had to say it twice. I was double checking, like really is that the name? The next name I'm hearing is Penny. The next name I'm hearing is um, Brandon. The next name I'm hearing is Josephine. The next name I'm hearing is I think I said George or Georgie already. I think I said that name. Okay, since we're repeating names, I'm going to get straight to if there's any messages, anybody on the other side. Somebody is saying something's under the fridge. So if somebody recently lost something, it's under the fridge or maybe in the fridge. I don't know. If somebody recently lost something, check the fridge. Um, I am going to say we're going to get started now with callers. If you would like to call in, the call in number is 845-277-9131. If you would like to ask a question in the chat, please um, go right ahead and do it just like Karen did. Karen, um, Karen, I'm going to say this. There's someone coming in within a month. And that person, you have a really good potential of making it a long relationship as long as you. Well, the first thing I'm hearing is this song is like, give, give the guy a chance, which I don't think it's a song. They're just taking a song and putting those words in. So give this guy a chance, first of all. Um, second. Uh, don't, and then I hear the word, the song, don't let him go, take it easy, take it slow. <laughs> okay, that's the second song. And I'm sorry, you guys, my nose, as soon as I started the show, became so stuffy and runny at the same time. It's crazy, because it's, it just started, okay, um, which it's, the most uncomfortable feeling in the world, by the way, because my ears are, since I started the show, my ears are plugged up and my nose is plugged up, but at the same time, my nose is running. So I think this is for somebody out there whose loved one may have felt this or somebody out there who's feeling this. I've, I'm I'm so sorry if somebody else is feeling this because this is the most ridiculous feeling I think I've ever felt in my life. Um, the next message, somebody is showing me this again and again, I'm going to say it, but I'm not going to spend as much time on it. Somebody needs to check their partner's vehicle. There is a phone or something put. Okay, here's how I'm gonna say it. If you lost a phone, or possibly your partner has a second phone, it is in their vehicle and it is, like if you reach, you know, the in the seat between the back and the cushion, it's there, it's there, put your hand in there. 
Okay, that's all I'm saying about that. Maybe you lost your phone there. Maybe somebody just, it was in your pocket or you put it down and it's it slid in there. It's in there, whatever that's for. I'm going to grab a tissue really quickly if I can find them. I usually keep a box really close to me. And of course, today I don't. They're way on the other side. Oh. Okay. We're going to get started with the show and we're just going to deal with whatever happens with my face while we're on air. We're just going to deal with it. Um, I'm sorry for the sniffles. Sometimes things just go the way they go. <laughs> if this is the worst thing that happens, we're all doing amazing today. I'm going to go to the first caller who is 920. 920, what's your name and where are you calling from? Uh, Dawn from Wisconsin. Hey, Dawn, how are you today? I'm doing okay. How are you? I am excellent, Dawn. Well, yeah. So I have, I don't even know if this is a question per se, but I, I want some, maybe some validation. I have a friend that reached out to me and told me that he had a dream with Greg. Uh, he sat, my friend Jim sat in a bus. To the left of him was Greg. And Greg wanted everybody to know that he was okay. And then Jim asked him about a friend of ours that has been gone many, many years. His name is uh, Jeff. And asked if he had seen Jeff. And Greg said, yeah, I have seen him and he is also okay. And then Jim told me he woke up. And I, I just, it was nice. It was nice to get that validation. Yeah, that is true. That is factual. I just keep hearing those are facts. Those are facts. I just keep hearing those are facts. <laughs> those are facts. And, and I think that's and I think that's wonderful because I haven't had a dream with Greg in it since August. Although, however, I've experienced smelling cherry cigar smoke in my house. And I felt somebody touch my backside of my right arm. Also. Yeah. That's so him. I feel Greg is around me. That one hundred percent is him. So thank you, Dawn. I want to say a few things based on this. When someone comes in a dream and they've passed on and they come in a dream, please trust it. As long as the dream is good, everything is solid. Um, and when you, when the confirmations that your loved ones give you will be things that they did or they were about when they were here. So, for example, my mom's not going to come through with roses because my mom always said my mom didn't like flowers. Like she did not like flowers. Um, so she would never, that would never be her confirmation. Um, but, but her confirmation would be food. The same thing with him, that cherry cigar would be his confirmation. Like I walked through my house that nobody has ever, since I moved in here, no one has ever smoked in here. And I will walk through what smells like a puff of smoke. And I know instantly that's my mom with me. There's not really a puff of smoke here, but that's my mom's smoked a lot so that would be um yeah her symbol her confirmation for me that she's with me so thank you don and all of those things are true confirmations and are the truth okay love yes yes the only other thing that i had was my radio in my bedroom which i only use for to tell time every time i go in the bedroom at night I get like static, like it's on the radio, but it's not even on the radio. It's, and I feel that that's also Greg disrupting um, electrical. Yeah, that's the easiest. I'm going to tell you, that is the easiest thing for them to do is to play with electric. I'm going to tell you guys a couple stories real quick. If, if you've heard these stories before, I apologize, but they will help you. They love to flicker lights. So after my friend Jerry passed, I went into the uh, the bathroom and I turned I flipped on the switch and there are four like makeup light bulbs there and they all went out at once and I was like oh I have to 
change these now and how did they all go out at once and then i heard turn it off i turned it off i heard turn it back on i turned it back on and they all went on and then um one night after my mom passed and i uh didn't i i had had the tv on a lot because i didn't want to think it was like i just didn't want to think and so I was getting ready to go to bed and I was turning the TV off and it would not turn off. The TV just would not turn off. No matter how many times I hit the button, it would not turn off. So then I unplugged it. So then it went off and then I heard plug it in. I plugged it in. It went back on. Man, I unplugged that. I swore I was never, ever going to turn it back on again. I was like, so yes, they do. And the radio is really good. If you listen in that static, you may even hear a message. You may even hear something as faint as a hi or I'm here or something like that. If you listen in the static, because they really, if they're giving you static, they're trying to come through in that static and hear you or have you hear them and give words out. They really, they want you to hear and know that. Okay, love. Thank you. You're welcome. And he loves you and he misses you, but not the same way you miss him. He, I'm going to say this, uh, Don, Greg misses your tushy. And that is... Well, that's mighty big tushy. <laughs> well, he misses it. He does miss it. <laughs> and he is saying um, he still climbs in bed at night. He still climbs oh my gosh. in bed at night. And funny you, you said that because Derby got up one night and literally looked towards the corner of the bedroom and growled a little bit and then laid back down. Yeah, he still climbs in bed at night. He's there every single night. And then I just keep hearing the word accident, accident, accident. And then I also hear um, that song by... Um, I think it's Whitney Houston, and I will always love you. Um, I'm not even going to try to sing that, you guys. The I can't carry <laughs> any of those words, especially not today. I can't <laughs> with everything being so plugged up. I, and I'm I woke up fine, so this is not whatever. <clears throat> but I'm just going to tell you that is what he's saying, and. Uh, <clears throat> That is what I need to let you know from him. Okay, love? Thank you very much. I appreciate that, Tony. I Absolutely. hope you feel better. Th oh, I'm yeah, thank you. I'm good. It I think it's um it's a confirmation for someone else. What's going on with my ears and head is a confirmation for somebody else watching or listening. I think that's, I'm pretty, I'm sure as soon as the show is over, all of this is going to be gone, which is pretty freaking crazy to me. Okay, love. <laughs> okay, thank you. You are so welcome, love. I hope you have an amazing, an amazing rest of the day. So that does happen, folks. When I'm doing a show or reading, and even prior to the reading, I'll start to get feelings like sometimes if someone's, if I'm getting ready to do a reading for somebody and I'll, I'll feel a pain in my head or in my chest or whatever it is, a lot of times that happens and it's actually has something to do with the loved one that somebody is, um, is calling about who, and all of a sudden, and just like that, and just like that. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, okay. Rebecca said a man named Sue is her oldest son song. Thank you for that, Rebecca. Um, Karmic Karen. Oh, thank you. The person now isn't free yet. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. 
for you, Karen, and everybody else listening, step away from the body. Um, here's what I've learned about people who are free yet. If you, if you partake, they don't become free as quickly, if at all. And here's why. It's a big step and it's a very difficult step to break up with someone. Obviously, you love this person that you're with, even though there's complications. So if you're thinking about leaving, but somebody else comes in, now this person that just walked in is actually keeping the other person to the other relationship together because this person that just walked in, the third party or side chick, and I'm not saying you're one, Karen. I don't, I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying in some cases, they're giving them all the good things they need that they are not getting here, where they would have been forced to leave this relationship because it would have been so miserable, but this is making them happy here. So then they're not leaving. And there's that. So if you really, if you're really interested in someone who's still with someone, let them know, hey, listen, as soon as you are single, moved out, papers filed, whatever the deal is, we can talk. Until then, good luck with that. That's that's a you thing. That's not a me thing. And that's why. Okay, let's go to the next question. Uh, uh, is it going to be that guy? No. Uh, is, that the, is that the guy for Karen? Once he's single, will he be a good candidate for her? No, Karen, I, I don't feel like he's going to be the one. I feel like somebody else is going to come in, swoop you up, scoop you up, and take you out and be able to be in a full relationship. And after, you know, after somebody just gets out of a relationship, they need some time to pull themselves back to normal and together and not be bitter and everything else. That's just what I'm saying about that. I'm going to go to, that's why, you know, when you break up, take a minute, get yourself back together and then jump into something. Um, 203, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. This is Michelle from Georgia. Hey, Michelle, how can I help you today? Hi. Um, well, I'm... Still working my part-time, very, very part-time job. I was wondering if you saw um, a full-time remote situation coming to yes. me, though. Yes. Okay. So there is, and I want to tell you this remote full-time situation. Okay. I'm getting one of two things. Either you're going to have people... You're going to be in some way working with people outside of your area. And I'm getting, oh, okay, I'm getting so much. Oh, my gosh. Okay, this is for you and anybody else listening. Um, M Michelle, let me ask you, what type of full, what type of position are you looking for full time? Well, I'm an engineer, so something in engineering. So mostly I work with aircraft or, you know, something like that. Okay. Okay, I, I want to make sure I understand because I know what I'm hearing, but I want to, so you, uh, okay, here's what I'm going to say. Um. I feel like there may be, I want you to go to the Boeing, Boeing uh, website, but I also want you to follow up on your own thoughts about what you could do with this. The other thing I'm getting is banking, whether whatever department with banking this is, the first thing I heard was banking. The second thing I heard was Boeing. Whatever these things mean. Now, Boeing could be a representation for an airline company or 
manufacturing company or some type of airline, not airline, but airplane, mm. airplane company. Like maybe they sell planes, maybe whatever. I don't know. But look into both of them. Kim, Go ahead. Okay. And we, I'm waiting to hear from another aircraft company uh, get uh, for a uh, remote position. They didn't want to do remote, but they need people. So they're, I think I'm going to get that interview sometime soon. You know, we just had the holiday. So maybe it's that one and not Boeing. I would still look into Boeing because I'm going to tell you something, Michelle, even if they hire, this is just what I'm getting. If they hire you, it, let's say you do the interview and they hire you. As soon as somebody comes along that will do what they want, they're going to go with that person. So if they want an in-person person, eventually they're going to find that and that's what they want and that's what they're going to get. Um, I do feel like if you okay. go to, let's just, I'm just going to keep using Boeing, okay? If you go to, and just as an example, it doesn't mean it has to be Boeing, it means it could be an airplane company, okay? Um, <clears throat> but I'm going to use Boeing as an example. You go to Boeing's website, you go to careers, you go to remote, you see what they have available, see if that fits you, okay? Same thing with other aircraft companies. Go to their uh, sites. Go to careers, go to remote, or go to what's available and see if it fits what you can do, what they want, and if it's remote. I feel like you are going to find something. Now, I also keep hearing banking, banking, banking. <clears throat> and I don't know if this is a possible career that you would have or the career you're going to have is going to have something to do with that. Whatever it is, make sure you're paying attention to your banking at the very least. Um, <laughs> check your statements because they keep saying banking, but also go to the aircraft companies and look at their sites for what's available. Okay, love? Okay. And if the company right. that, that wants you now, see, even if you are willing to negotiate one day in or two days in office out of the month or whatever, that might make them a little bit happy. But if you if you don't give them some of what they want, they'll eventually find somebody who will, okay? Yeah, yeah. It's, and this is coming up before the end of the year? Yes. <clears throat> now, I do feel like there's going to be a total of two possibly three, two, possibly three interviews or possibilities. The These possibilities will come from now through February, but you have to make a lot of the moves for them, meaning obviously finding the position and applying, but the Two, possibly three. The third possibility depends on if you accept something before the third possibility. If you do, it'll be okay. But it's it's a matter of getting getting in that niche of what you want and hitting every possible site you can. Okay. Okay. Excellent. I hope right. I well great. Excellent. Thank you. You are welcome. And I hope I, I, you know what, I really hope I explain that well, because sometimes if I don't know the terminology for like airplane manufacturer or airplane sales company or whatever it is, uh, the message might be a little bit more, a little bit more vague, but you can put it together for you and your situation and do a deep dive. Do a really deep dive and don't worry about if the company, um, Michelle, if the company is not located in Georgia, it's located in Texas, let's just say, but I heard that. So definitely check out companies in Texas. They may be very willing to hire somebody remote in Georgia. So make sure you are 
looking not only at companies right there in your backyard, but also companies throughout the U.S. And I do feel like the company that you're going to eventually end up with will have an international, but I think planes just do. I mean, airplanes just have that international thing, but it's going to be a, a, a some sort of international thing. Um, so just pay attention to that. Okay, don't, don't worry about it's in your backyard. Definitely check out companies in Texas also. Oh, okay. 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 I'm going to go. <laughs> I'm going to go to the next uh, question online comes from Aaron. Should I start a side business? Always. Yes. Every day of the week, five days a week. I am always going to say yes. Do not quit. Your, I'm always, these are the three things I say with a side business. Do not quit your day job. Start your side business and start it now. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. 100%. Okay. Um, Aaron, I, you know, when, when people ask me, what would I successfully sell? Here's my answer to you. What you love. Listen, you will successfully sell what you believe in and what you're passionate about. That's it. That is the whole truth. Okay. Um, if you love tacos, start a business selling tacos. Maybe find somebody who can make tacos and you sell. I don't know. That's a joke, but it's not. You have to sell what you love. You have to sell, or if it's going to be your side business, don't just pick up something you don't really care about. Pick up something you're passionate about. Okay. And run with it. No. And here's the thing. If um, I, I have to be careful about the way I word this, um, the verbiage I use. So, uh, no, I can't use that example because I just can't delicately, I don't have delicate verbiage for it. Whatever you love and you feel there's a need for, even if you don't feel like there's a need for it, that's what you're supposed to be doing. If you love makeup, do makeup. If you love, you know, tools, do tools. And if you love wine, do wine. Just make sure it's something you love and you will make a lot of money. Thank you, Sal. That's really sweet of you. Thank you. Um, I'm going to go to the next. I think this is um, a different 203. 203, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, Tony, it's Pat from Connecticut. Happy holidays. Hey, Pat, where have you been? <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I'll be talking to you soon in the reading, finally. I can't, I keep putting it off because things keep happening and I don't want to be in a bad mood or anxiety when I talk to you, so it'll be soon. I but understand. Something else happened. I have, I have wonderful time with my son and his family and extended family. Thanksgiving in his home. Although I felt like I was doing it through six inches of foggy glasses because the last, uh, there's two parts to this. The last three times I've gone out there, I feel so, so ill. And also ran into a small animal on the way home, which was incredibly distressing and I think is connected to this. And uh, it's in a big, big barn. We ruled out anything in the house. Then my son said, well, maybe aliens. So now I'm beginning to think someone with your mind can see what's going on. It um, was a studio by owned by a famous um, movie director who changed the world of special effects. And when COVID went down, um, he turned it into a place to rent rather than have his staff work and live there. Okay. So the first thing I want to say, I, I want to make sure I'm understanding your correct. I want to understand what your question is. Is your question, is there something in this studio causing you to feel off yeah. or is your yeah. question? 
Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yes, it makes me feel really, really ill. I go outside. I feel a little better on my way home, halfway home. Uh, it's all gone. Now it's happened three times. And then on the way home, <clears throat> uh, running into a baby animal somehow makes me feel that that's connected to um, I had my eyes peeled up for deer, but not something lower to the ground. Okay, so what I'm getting is, yeah, there's like a fog in this place. Um, and the fog could have been caused by anything. If it was by somebody who was doing special effects and in the movies, they may have had some parties there. They may have, you know, smoked some stuff or drank some stuff or caused a fog. And oftentimes, I am going to say this, in that world, uh of creating special effects. Sometimes they use hallucinative stuff like mushrooms or cocoa or whatever it is, a, a ayahuasca, whatever it is to get to that place where they can create crazy things. Here's what I'm going to say. I do feel like there's something with the place that's kind of, um, I hear that song, Comfortably Numb, and I'm Comfortably Numb. How, that's the wrong beat, obviously, but that song, hello, 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 is anybody out there? That song. Um, so it's this feeling, this place has this energy or this fog, if you will, of that, whatever that represents. Um, I am going to say there was probably some partaking of some things while people were there. There was probably some partaking of some whatever, even if it was just the creating of certain things while you were there. Uh, listen, when we create, we call in divinity or whatever we call in to create this stuff. Um, what I'm going to say is that place could probably use a good, 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 really good clearing. On TikTok, I have clearings for you, your home, and everybody in it, or uh, doing a clearing for it. Um, that's a really big, I would say normally anybody who watches my show all the time would know I would normally just double down and start clearing that now but there's something that's big and I don't want to throw off my energy for the rest of the show by clearing that so because when I clear things I feel it um so I'm not going to clear that on the air because it's big whatever it is it's embedded it's rooted and um again it's that foggy that, like that song, Comfortably Numb. I think that's the name of the song. Somebody in the chat tell me, is that the song? Hello, hello, hello. Is anybody in there? Whatever that song is. I think it's Comfortably Numb. Anyway, that's the feeling of this place. And Pat, I'm, I'm so sorry. I know I'm going a roundabout way. And I know you want me to give you an answer to a question you didn't specifically ask. But what I'm going to tell you... It is the place. There's something with the place. It's almost like a, do you know, okay, this is it. Do you know how that guy who cut off his ear, who was the greatest artist, and it, 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 like, like in order to create what this guy creates, there needs to be a little bit of insanity involved. And that, <laughs> and that. <laughs> And that's that. That's what I'm going to say. That's And I'm sticking to it. That's it. That's it. That's it. I went far into that energy and down that rabbit hole. And I'm pulling my little tushy out and saying, no, thank you. I am not going to go any further down that rabbit hole today, Pat. But I will tell you, that would take a full 45 to 60 minutes to clear if uh, your son is interested in doing that. There will be a lot of 
mishaps and happenstance, maybe not to them, but any guests that come, a lot of miscommunication, a lot of feeling very, very crazy. A lot of feeling like, am I crazy? Am I to that? Am I, am I going a lot of that? Okay. And that's what I have for you, Pat. I hope you understand that. Thank you so much for calling in and asking. Um, uh, she, okay. Erin follows up. I've been thinking about starting an Etsy shop to sell C and C laser designs. I like that. Like wooden, um, or slate coasters. I love that. I think you should do that. And eventually you can put them into small businesses too, like niche businesses. Um, I, I'm seeing this woman, her name is Laura. She owns Sparkle Spa. And you could do like a, a the like a make make your day sparkle with Laura and do like um things for businesses too. I love that. Yeah, do it. Do it. You'll love it. I love it. That's it. Hey Ishma, hey Ricky, um, Elizabeth. Um Uh, Elizabeth wants to know, will Gunther and I start talking or see each other soon? No. Okay, so you put the word soon in there. I'm going to take the word soon out of there. Will Gunther and Elizabeth start talking? Will they see each other? It's an ish. It's an ish answer. It's like, ah, it's going to be a lot of work, Elizabeth. If you, you know, here's... Yeah. Here's what I'm going to say. There's so much more copacetic out there, Elizabeth. Something that'll just fit and feel so much better. Okay. And I feel like that's going to come in in February, March for you, Elizabeth, if you're open to it. Okay. Um, sometimes I'm just going to say this. Sometimes we really have to let go of, um, sometimes we just really have to let go of what's here to get what we want. So sometimes we have this and we love this or we like this, but it's not what we want. And if we want what we want, which is probably what we deserve, because this isn't giving us what we deserve, we have to really cut it and let go so we can get what we want and or deserve. And oftentimes when we're in a situation where there's this going on, Elizabeth, of no communication or no not seeing each other, we deserve better than that. We deserve, we deserve better than, and if I, I'm not tapping into what this whole relationship is, I'm just tapping into the answer of this question. But if this is a, like, let's take a break. I need a break. Ugh. Uh, really? How old are you? Like, or ghosting or a, whatever it is like, no, mm -mm. full grown people talk out their stuff and make it work, F boys don't. And I'm not saying that's the situation here because again, I'm not looking at this situation. Oh, but, but did you see that flash of light? I'm not saying it, but spirit just might be. Um, and I'm gonna let that sit there because I probably, I'm getting two scenarios for this, Elizabeth, and I'm just gonna leave this here because I don't have enough details from you on this to say that this is, I'm just going to say if February, March, you have the potential to let somebody new in brand new, don't know them, never met them. That will be so amazing for you and will give you a much better relationship, a much healthier relationship, a much happier copacetic flowing relationship, not, not a let's go with the flow. Can't we just see where this goes? Be, and the word is not be, but be, ouch. Somebody's got to get behind the wheel and drive. 
in order for this to go any place. Okay? We're not going to just see where it goes because it will end up in the ocean underground. Both of us trying to figure out how did we get here? Mm, and no. No. No, because there be sharks down in that ocean. No. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. So make sure you're in a relationship with somebody who also wants to be in a relationship. They want to be in something that is progressing. If you want to eventually get married, make sure they want to get married and want to be a husband to you. It's easy for somebody to say, yeah, someday I want to get married. Okay, great. Let's talk about, will that be me at some point? And if not, then let's talk about not talking anymore and moving on. I don't want to be in the way of you finding what you want. Listen, here's my, and I'm going to say this. I'm not, it's so easy for me to say, guys, 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 because I'm a woman. And, you know, it's, it's just the natural flow of my language. But women are like this too. Listen, if you're not ready to settle down, if you still want to play, Go ahead, go ahead. And I'm going to say this again. There are many things you can catch, even if you're using protection, skin to skin, syphilis, making a huge comeback because everybody wants to be out there playing games. Everybody wants to be out there with multiple partners, getting that body count. Syphilis is making a huge comeback. His and herpes making a huge comeback because these things transfer on the skin. Skin to skin, okay? So be careful. I think I think that is how it is transferred. I don't know about the first one, syphilis. Check, do your own check on that. Just be careful. If that's what you want, I have no problem with somebody who wants to be out there exploring, trying to figure out what they want. Don't do it with somebody who thinks that you are in a committed relationship. And if you know your partner wants a committed relationship, let them go get what they want. You go get what you want. Everybody's happy. Don't be a selfish person and keep somebody tied up thinking that maybe there's a chance when you know there is no chance. Don't, don't do it. And some people might say, well, she should be smart enough to know there's no chance. Not when the person is leading them on to get what they want. And yeah, it's ridiculous, but it's a fact. It's just a fact. So if you want to be single and free and play, go be single, free and play with the people who want to be single, free and play. But make sure the person that you're with wants what you want with you. That's it. That's all. It's that simple. And let me tell you something. If you cannot ask them that, they are not the person. If they cannot answer that, they are not the person. If you are afraid to ask them that, they are not the person. Now, I'm going to repeat this one more time. I knew a girl who by the second date was trying to pull off her panties, but was afraid to ask where this is going. When did we become more comfortable spreading our legs than opening our mouth? Maybe she was opening her mouth too, but here's the point. How did we become so comfortable letting people get up in us or have sex with people, but we can't ask them what you're looking for, what you want, because we're afraid of what they might say. I would be more afraid of what they might give me. I, I just, am I, is that just me? Or do people not even think about that these days? I, is that even not a thought? You need to go to the STD sites and see what's, what's popping out there. Because there's a lot popping out there today in those STD communities. And some of those things, they just don't, they just don't go away. <laughs> It's yours. It's the gift that keeps on giving for the rest of your whole life, your whole rest of your life. And I mean, maybe some people don't care about that. I don't know. But what I'm going to say is that is the, the very long, unwarranted answer to your question. I'm going to the next caller. A five six. what's your name and where are you calling from? 
I'm Rosemary from New Jersey. How can I help you, love? Uh, I'm trying to see if I can go and partner with somebody. Um, and I didn't contact them. I'm not sure if they're gonna contact me about it because I did it a long time ago, or I should just email them the information. Go that way, or which way to go? How to go about it? Okay, so what was the first part of that question, sweetie? Uh, I don't think a business with a partner. Okay, I heard something about a business with a partner. Right. If I can uh, have to contact them with the information or, or let them contact me about it. Okay, I'm just going to ask this the way I can ask it for you um, based on what you've said or what I've understood so far. Could you, should she contact these people? No. Are they going to contact her? Yes. Eventually, they'll contact you, but I do not feel like this is a good commitment for you. I feel like something else is going to come in that's going to be better. This is why you're not supposed to contact them. I do feel like this month, November, no, December, November, within this this 30-day segment, by the near the end of December, if you are actively seeking, you will figure out something that's going to bring you money that'll be really good for you. Um, but you have to be actively seeking. And I do feel like there is going to be something There's going to be something that's, uh, I hear the word tangible, um, like a product in the hand, uh, something very tangible, something you can touch that's, that's coming in, but it's close to home. It's very close to home. It's almost like, if not a neighbor, it's very, very close to home. And it's something you can, it's tangible. And I think I know what they mean by that. I think they mean it's something you can, I, I, I'm just going to give you the words I'm hearing, something you can take with you, not like this other thing. It's something very different. It's something you can walk, like walk out with something. So for example, if it's a business, it's something some somebody can come up to you, they can buy it, they can walk away with it, uh, like Johnny on the spot. It's something very tangible. It's a real product and it's right there. It's something that you're helping to create, something you're helping to create um, in whatever way you're doing that. And it's coming in within this 30 day cycle. I feel like it's going to come to you uh, or you're going to talk to somebody and it's going to come together and you're going to start start producing it or, or, or creating it or doing whatever you need to do to do that. And that's what I'm getting for you, love. I hope that makes sense. It probably doesn't because there wasn't a ton of information and because it's a prediction, something coming in. You're not really aware of it, but as soon as it comes in, you're going to understand. Now, I am going to tell you this. You do need to have your feelers out there. You need to be talking to people and, and letting people talk to you, and you're going to hear about this or you're going to know about this, and you'll be able to move forward with it. And I'm going to give you two examples or, or one example because of the time frame. Um, if somebody has a product, that they can create, but they're not good at sales or getting it out to people, you might be the person that gets it out to people, okay? If somebody has a uh, um, whatever, or you're the person who, they have an idea for a product, but you're the person who can make the product, that might be it too. Either way, but I feel like this is something that's coming together. I feel like it's somebody you already know. And this is tangible. Like, I just keep touching my hands together, almost like, is this like a soap or a lotion? Or, But it's, it's very tangible. It's something, I get it is something very soft. It feels almost like a lotion or a cream or an oil. I could be way off. 
don't stick to the product I'm talking about. If a different product appears, that's the product. Um, do your research, make sure it's all on the up and up. But the way I'm with my hands, I would say that that would be a possibility, but it doesn't mean it's that exactly. Okay. Okay. Who? Uh... <laughs> okay. Okay. I am going to go to a, uh... yep, Van Gogh, the guy with the ear. Thank you. Um, Ishma. Hi. Hi, Tony. Um, I expect a message from a company about a job offer. Is there any way to know if I'm going to be accepted soon? And if so, will I have a positive path there? Tomorrow? Now, uh, Ishma, I hope I'm saying your name correctly. I feel like you're going to find out something tomorrow. But what I feel like, and as I go to say this, I get the goosebumps. I feel like keep looking because I feel like, and tomorrow doesn't always mean exactly tomorrow. It could be within the week. You're going to find another position that's going to be even better. You're going to find a position that has a path that's wide open for you. I Did he already apply for this position? I get a yes, no. Did he hear back from them? You did not hear back from these people yet. I feel like you're going to hear something tomorrow. So it may be this company. No, it may be another company that you applied for that's going to finally get back to you. But I feel like you're going to hear something within this week. Uh, you may, you might have to choose between two. Um, Ishma, Is, Ishma. I feel like whatever's the one that gets back to you first is the good one maybe or the next one you hear from is the good one like let's say there's somebody you applied to a while ago and they come back to you or they ask you for an interview before the other company gets back to you the the one you hear from first might be it the one you're speaking about there's something like it looks like okay the way they're showing it to me is like there's a tunnel and you see nothing but light but then all of a sudden doon, 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 this like this wall appears but the wall was always there because the wall was the light it was a wall that looks like the light at the end of the tunnel but it's really just i'm sorry i'm laughing at that it's not funny it's that's not fun. that's not funny <laughs> but it's funny it's like it's an illusion they're they're painting it isma i want you to pay attention to what how they're saying what they're saying and that will tell me tell you if there's real possibilities in this company but 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 there's another company coming in that is going to be wide open. It's a real light at the end of the tunnel. Um, not an illusion of, of promises that they can't keep. I do feel like within a week, but definitely within the month, which is this month, which there's about a week left to this month. Ninety I, seconds. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna hear you're going to hear from this place. Okay. Thank you everybody so much for, for joining me here today. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. If you did not get through today, please, I will be here Wednesday at 7 PM taking calls, answering questions and uh, telling very poor jokes apparently and singing off key and out of tune. That's 60 seconds. That's what I do. That's what I'm here for. I love each and every one of you so stinking much. And Genevieve, I did see you said hello. If I didn't say hello to you, I'm so sorry. Thank you for joining us, Ricky. Everybody, just thank you so much. If I missed your name or your question, I just really apologize. But thank you so much for being here. Love you all so much. Thank you.